Yeah, awesome. Really good. Oh my god, yeah. I'm the big, I'm a pussy. This is where we got to now, boys. Is that is tar black. Why would he do that? <laughs> I didn't know if you were jerking it. Good morning, viewers of The Hob Life. Here we are again at my favorite general store, Johanna. Just got a super pretzel and a Gatorade. Dude, these super pretzels are banging. I got one for Sasquatch as well. He was saying if they have them, get them one. So I got one, and now we are headed to Plow Farms to finish that wall that we left unfinished last Friday. And yeah, I'm not really sure what today holds. Just, uh, wow, this road's a little busy today. I thought it was a holiday. Come on, why is everybody out on the road working? I thought you guys were holidaying it up. So yeah, I don't know. Just go here, work, see what the day brings. Uh, hope you guys are living your dreams, pursuing your goals, not giving a flying sinister Sith what anybody else thinks about you or what society tells you is right. And while you're at it, hit the like, sub, and notification bell. Drop a comment if you want. And let's get this day fired up, boys. Woohoo! It would be hard for some people to believe this, but dude. These gas station pretzels are like banging. Like, Better than Philly pretzels in my head. Better than that, you know, soft pretzel factory or whatever they claim. These things are, they gotta bring these back everywhere. Like, these are the ballpark pretzel of the universe. So good. Picture this with a hot dog. Cold cola, cold Coca-Cola cola. Yeah. Cola. <laughs> I got a truck full of block that me and Sasquatch loaded this morning. His truck's full of blocks too. Now we gotta figure out how to use these blocks on this wall because they're a different system. I'm not sure which ones these are. These might be Anchor Vertica or something. I'm not sure, but the clip system on the block is a little bit different than the clip system on that block, which is gonna be weird. Let's get the interview. How are those pretzels? Yeah, awesome. Like, they're way better than Wawa's pretzels now. Really good. Oh my God, yeah. People yeah. are claiming that those might have Corona on them. Maybe. Cause they're just like spiling around in that thing and everyone's like opening them up and breathing on them. Yeah, but I don't think you get corona from either. How do you think you get it? <clears throat> breathing it in your lungs. Some people say it's not even real that they didn't like, uh, Oh. you know what I mean? Like it's just a, a flu that they're calling corona. If it's a flu, like, if it's a mild flu, get it and tell me how mild it you fucking feel. Any flu at all is absolutely horrible. For me, maybe <laughs> other people can handle it. I'm the big, I'm a pussy. I don't like the flu, whether it's Corona or me just neither. the seasonal flu. I don't even want a cold. How much further back do you think I need to go? Like that. It almost feels so weird in here hot, like I might have a fever from the heat. From being in this truck. Damn, your life's really good right now. Pretzels and Gatorade. Yeah, I'm confused. Why? Why is that dry and then there's puddles over there? That's fucking weird. That one, they seem light today. Oh, yeah. So fucking light. They are lighter than the ones we brought from the shop. Oh, yeah, they're, they're weirdly light today. There's red ones though. This is where we got to now, boys. Raised it up another course, put a little jump here, put the caps on here. It's looking really good. I told Sasquatch we needed like 10 more for good luck, but he didn't want to bring them. He didn't want to load them in the truck this morning. He was feeling lazy, so now we didn't complete the wall again. So fucked up. Such a savage. But yeah, so we have this, but then Greg, the owner around here, told us that it doesn't matter because he has another project for us that he wants us to do, so we'll just bring the caps when we bring the block for that, but 
There we go. It's looking pretty good. Hiding those propane tanks. Yeah, pretty stoked on that. And a legend stopped by today. Um, the guy I'm gonna go to South Carolina with, and he pulled up in like a black murdered out truck, and I was like, oh, what is this, is that the cops? And he's like, yo, what's up, hobster? And I still didn't know who it was. Then I had to walk over to the truck to get like a look in the window, and then I was like, all right, this guy's a god that he stopped by. So yeah, we were dialing in the trip to go to Myrtle Beach, S Myrtle Beach and uh, ride Club MX, and he's got like two or three other tracks planned out, so it's gonna be a, a good trip with the boys. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Sasquatch is over there just talking and talking, so we'll see what the plan is now, but look at this finger. I just hit it with the hammer again, and it kind of hurts. I wonder if the, nails, if the nail falls off, I'm gonna be in total disregard. It's gonna be brutal. Just got my bike loaded up to take it up to the shop to do some maintenance. And it's fully snowing out like a, we just had a, it's, I don't think it's gonna stick or anything, but we're in like a full, whatever you call this. I don't know, little flurry, little like snow apocalyptic flurry or something. So yeah, headed up to the MKS shop to do my first oil change on the bike and uh, see what kind of oil Frenchie's claiming. Zach already told me what kind of oil to use, but I'm gonna see what Frenchie's got in mind too. So I'll compare and contrast the two boys' ideas and then I'll I'll go with whatever I think I wanna go with for myself. So I'm gonna go inside, let the truck warm up for a second, and then I'm headed to the shop. That's why I just left this red Gatorade in here. I'm gonna taste it. I usually go with yellow, but let's see. Ah, pretty good, but I can already smell the acid reflux from this red dye. Pretty good though, fruity. Look at our new roommates. Look how many trucks are here. New roommates, they're renting the spot up here now. Nesco Trucking. Dude, there's like 500 trucks up there. <laughs> oh boys, oh boys. Feels like I haven't been here in a long time, but I have. Just haven't been spent that much time here. Do I have to set this off? Oh yeah. Okay boys, it, it happened. Yeah, we're here, we're at the shop. Feels like it's been a while, but it really hasn't. It really hasn't at all. Oh, I gotta unload my bike now, boys. Here we are at the shop. Bike's looking. Oh my gosh, mint. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that these things, the graphics can't. They're coming off up here. Savagely coming off. This one's kind of, but I got it to stay back on. I could, I could live without this piece, but those ones look pretty cool. I don't want them falling off completely. But everything else is looking mint, looking dialed. These bolts were a little loose last time. I had to tighten these up, maybe that's normal. Maybe we didn't torque them. Who knows what happened there. I'm gonna get into my first oil change now and see where that takes us. I don't know, just want to come down to the shop, see what was going on, get a little like man feel. Let's see if I get to the oil plug. I can't get to the oil thing like that, huh boys? Do I have to take this off to do my oil change? That would be pretty brutal, really brutal. I think I do, oh my lawyer, oh my lawyer. Jimmy hasn't been around much since he got corona, but he should be making his way back out into the world soon, but check out these new rims he got for his Toyota. Oh my gosh, dude, he's so horny for these. Oh my gosh. That's what he took a personal loan out for? I don't know if I would have done that, but they do look pretty mint. They look really mint, dude, actually, he's a legend. Truck's pretty much perfect now, though. And I didn't realize it till I just was sweeping that. Looks like Alex moved in and moved out. He had a tire stand in here, he had two bikes, he had his mat. Now, phew, he moved out already. Maybe because he could drove all the way here one day to work on his bike, forgot his keys, had to drive all the way home and then all the way back. Maybe he was thinking like, damn, that's pretty brutal. I don't know, why'd he move out already? Questions only God knows the answer to, I think. Cause I don't even think he knows the answer to that question. What's up, Lula? What happened, girl? You came down to see me? You stretching it out for me? All right, let's fire this beast up and let her warm up. So we can get the oil warm in there. Give her a little warm up.
Oh, that oil's pretty dirty or no? I don't know. It's all in my fucking hand. I'll say that. <laughs> Dude, I only have like four hours on the bike. They must have used some shitty oil, boys, because that is tar black. Like legitimately like four, maybe five hours. That's it. No way. So I just added a quart of Mobile One Racing 10W40 full synthetic motor oil to the KX450. It's looking pretty good. Let's see, I'm gonna fire it up and see if this is the right amount. Frenchie's claiming it's the right amount. I don't know. He usually knows what's going on though. And I changed the oil filter. Um, and I got an hour meter to put on the bike. And what else? I don't know, that's about it for now. Why is that thing keeping? This guy just armed this? I think he armed it upstairs. Why would he do that? <laughs> All right, so I gotta go around and make sure I got all my bolts that I loosened up are tight. Make sure these are tight. If I had the right T-handle, could make sure that was tight. And then I gotta make sure my drain plug's tight. And then, I don't know, start it up. It's interesting because I can't see anything in there. Make sure that's tight. Go underneath here. Make sure this is tight. She's looking pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and squirrels. First oil change on my KX450 is complete, I think. Should I fire it up and see? She's a barking dog. She's a barking dog. Here we are, I just closed up the shop. I'm gonna walk up to Frenchie's. I didn't do the freaking code, dude. I gotta open the whole thing again. Now I'm walking up to Frenchie's to help him check out the website, the MKS website, so uh, we can launch these shoes. Uh, yeah, I don't know, pretty crazy, boys. I didn't know if you were jerking it. <laughs> um, no, I didn't look at him. So, I don't know why I have two websites. I started one that was shit, and this one it was a week's, you know, and that's... Leaving Frenchies now, slash MKS compound. Damn, I really do need those, those freaking things. Dude, the seatbelt clamps, Rachel hit them in front of me, I think. I gotta find them. She didn't hide them, they're just in the drawer upstairs. But yeah, so I'm headed home now to my own compound, Land of Thrash. I was just at with Frenchie. We did an oil change on my bike. Uh, yeah, and then I was helping him with, um the MKS website, which is looking really good, dude. We're he's gonna launch the MKS Moto Kick shoes soon. And uh, dude, they are so sick, the shoes he's making, like that he's producing, pretty gnarly. So that, there's a full line of shoes, merch, and everything dropping MKS style. So uh, yeah, I don't know, you guys should definitely check that out on Instagram, MKS Moto Kicks, I think, or MKS, I'm not sure, and then mksmotokicks.com is the website that we're working on so you guys should check it out just to support the boys and uh, there's going to be pre-order for the shoes available because we already sold through or he already sold through I think the first 125 pairs that are coming right now so pretty crazy because so many people are supporting the boys right now so yeah thanks for tuning in thanks for all the support thanks for all the love and probably we'll see you tomorrow Peace. Right now I gotta keep a ton of vision. I need me a little baby who gon' listen.